Somewhere in Mexico, a colonel, John Hannibal Smith, is held captive by two Mexican corrupt cops who also work under a renegade general, named Tuco. Those two cops intentionally let two predatory dogs to kill him, but Hannibal manages to free himself from the rope that tied his hands, and instead of getting eaten by those dogs, he manages to tame them easily and then tie them before he leaves the place. He then goes to a ranch owned by Tuco, to rescue his comrade named Face, who was being held captive there. At the ranch, Face was being tortured by Tuco for being caught for having an affair with his wife. It was revealed that Face and Hannibal were on the mission to capture Tuco. Before he reaches the ranch, Hannibal stops a van driven by a guy named Bosco aka B.A. Hannibal shoots his arms and threatens him to drive him to the ranch. They finally arrived at the ranch and they managed to mess things up. Face was about to be burnt to death by Tuco, and thank God, Hannibal and B.A. arrived right on time before Face was being burned alive by Tuco. The trio successfully escaped from the ranch, but before leaving the ranch, they also brought Tuco's wife with them. It turned out Tuco's wife had fallen in love with Face. Later on that day, they arrived at an army hospital to find Murdoch, a crazy pilot, who was also a member of a special military ranger, to recruit his service and help them to flee out of the country. When they are about to ride on the medical chopper, Tuco's men arrive, firing the shots at them but thankfully they manage to get away from the attack. But, shortly afterward, Tuco comes riding his own chopper to launch another attack. Somehow, Tuco manages to fire some missiles at them but as Murdoch is a skilled and talented pilot, he manages to avoid the missile by flying low, while spinning around and around in the sky. It was an epic ride above the sky. Murdoch flies his helicopter toward the American border and manages to lure Tuco to follow him. It was totally Tuco's bad move for following them, because the American military fighter plane rewarded him with two missile shots at him. We move to the next scene, fast forward to eight years later. Hannibal, Face, Bosco and Murdoch are now a respected elite combat unit for being the only team who successfully carried out 80 missions in the last 8 years of their career. They are known as the A-Team. When they were deployed in Iraq, a CIA agent named Lynch met Colonel Hannibal to assign him a task to recover a U.S. Treasury plates that had been stolen by a group of criminals in Iraq, which they used to print the money. Lynch then asked Hannibal to get back the plate and also take over about $1 billion in cash slated to move out of Baghdad in an armored convoy by this night. At the same time, Tsis Captain, Carissa Sosa met her ex-boyfriend, Face, and she warned him against stealing the plate and the money that will be transferred to Baghdad tonight. She said that if he and his team stole the plate and the money, they would have to face a serious punishment. It turns out the U.S. military is against such theft. Hannibal then notifies his boss, General Morrison, about the mission Lynch assigned to him and his team. Instead of stopping Hannibal, General Morrison agrees to steal the plate and will keep this mission a secret from everyone. After the discussion with General Morrison was over, Hannibal and Bosco met with a special elite force called the Black Forest led by Pike. This special elite force is not just any special elite force, because they could become a hurdle for their mission even though Pike and his teams had no idea what Hannibal and his team were doing. At night, the A-Team began their mission, stealing plates and money. At first, they hijacked a container truck carrying plates and money, then dropped the truck into the river, and at the same time a helicopter piloted by Murdoch was ready to pick up the truck and take it to a place that had been set as a meeting point with General Morrison. However, when Morrison arrived, Black Forest team shot his car with missiles, and they also fired some missiles at the container and managed to seize the plate. Hannibal, Face, Murdoch and Bosco were then arrested and tried in military courts. Although Hannibal and others claimed that this mission was a direct order from the general, military officials said that there was no absolute evidence of their claim since the general had died. Hannibal and his teammate couldn't say anything else, and on that day, all of them were dishonorably discharged. Eight months later, Hannibal, who is in a Colorado military prison, is visited by Agent Lynch, who reveals that Pike may be trying to sell the plate on the black market with the help of a mysterious Arab official. Apparently, Lynch needs Hannibal's help to fight the Black Forest and take over the plate. 
Hannibal agrees to do the work Lynch offered, but in return he asks for a clean slate for himself and his three men. After the two agreed, Hannibal was given a cigarette, which contained a poisonous substance, which made Hannibal go into a state of suspended animation. When he was about to be cremated, Hannibal woke up from his suspended animation, then he escaped from prison. Hannibal then went to a Florida military prison to free face by stealing the tanning machine he was using. After Hannibal managed to free face, both of them then went to free Bosco who happened to be on a bus heading to a military prison. They freed Bosco by pulling out and breaking the bus door which he then grabbed and was dragged away by Hannibal and face. The trio then traveled to Germany to free Murdoch, who is now in a mental hospital. Unfortunately, Captain Sosa arrived at the same time to prevent the release. But Sosa's arrival was no obstacle for Hannibal, Bosco, and Face. They thoughtlessly crashed a military car into the asylum and took Murdoch away from Sosa's pursuit. The four of them then went to a local U.S. military base and stole a Hercules airplane containing an army tank car to leave the country. During the flight, they were chased by two unmanned rapper planes that kept shooting at them. The shots eventually hit them, but before their plane exploded, they managed to escape using the tank car. After a long time in the air, they finally landed on the lake and then headed to Berlin. Meanwhile, Captain Sosa finally found the person who had released Hannibal from prison, it was Lynch. She then contacted him and warned him not to interfere in the Hannibal case. If he insisted and kept interfering, then his position would be in trouble. Lynch felt that Sosa was a serious threat to his mission and planned to kill her. On the other hand, Hannibal made another plan with his three men. He suspected that Lynch would kill anyone who got in the way of this mission, so Hannibal ordered Face to secure Captain Sosa. He warned him to stay in the team, and to obey his orders secretly. After securing Captain Sosa, Hannibal, Bosco and Murdoch embark on a plan to steal the plate, which is now in the hands of Pike and a mysterious Arab official at an office building. Bosco and Hannibal were assigned to start the attack. Bosco would shoot smoke bombs into the building, and Hannibal would go inside and capture the Arab official, then throw him out, and Murdoch would rescue the Arab official with his helicopter. Hannibal managed to get the plate, then he exited the building. However, the plate fell while Hannibal was still hanging on the building, so he ordered Bosco to pick it up. But unfortunately when the plate was in Bosco's hands, Pike managed to shoot Bosco. Bosco was unable to escape because he was shot, and Pike seized the opportunity to kill him. Pike landed his punch at him, but Bosco couldn't fight him back, because he was hurt. Thankfully Hannibal came to his rescue, then took him away by the car. Pike was so furious when Hannibal and Bosco managed to get away from him. He tried to stop their car by shooting it incessantly. Shortly afterwards, Captain Sosa and his team came, then surrounded him and managed to capture him. Hannibal and Bosco then returned to their base in a warehouse by the lake. Murdoch and Face were already there along with the Arab officer they had kidnapped. When the Arab official's hood was removed, they were immediately surprised to find that it was General Morrison. It turned out that General Morrison had been disguised as an Arab official all this time. Morrison revealed that he previously made a deal with Lynch and Pike to steal the plate to mold the money, but Morrison changed his mind and instead betrayed Lynch by working with Pike. So, the point is Morrison, Pike and Lynch are evil, who want to print unlimited money, but Morrison's greed, leads him to betray Lynch, and in the process he recruit Pike to help him. By doing so, he can take and enjoy all the money by himself and live his life in peace. Hannibal then called Lynch to inform him that the plate and Morrison had been secured. However, Lynch's hate toward Morrison is so big, so he orders his men to carry out airstrikes to eliminate the A-team and Morrison. Morrison died from the attack, but not Hannibal and his three men, they managed to save themselves by jumping into the lake. At the other place, while Captain Sosa was interrogating Pike, Lynch suddenly arrived and forcibly took over Pike. Once they were inside the car, Lynch offered him to work with him to recover the plate and to destroy the A-team. Hannibal, on the other hand, is running out of ways to fight Lynch and how to reinstate it is in his team member's name. Face then give him some ideas. Firstly, Hannibal needs to arrange a meeting with Captain Sosa in Los Angeles, then telling her that the plate is still in his hands, if she wants to get it, she should give them freedom and reinstate their name from all the criminal records they have. Hannibal agrees with Face's idea, then he calls Sosa. But, 
both Sosa and Hannibal have no idea that their call was tracked by Lynch. Lynch then managed to get the location of their meeting. Thanks God that Hannibal knew that Lynch had tracked the phone call he made earlier with Sosa, so he makes another strategy to trap him. Murdoch will cover himself as Morrison, as the other will make a distraction by attacking Lynch's men at the dock. After all the plans were organized, they all met at the dock. Face then began his plan by putting the fake Hannibal and Morrison into a container. He would alternate one container with another, to confuse Lynch and Pike. When their focus shifted to searching which container containing Hannibal and Morrison, at the other side, Bosco would get two cars, which he controlled remotely. Those two cars immediately shot by Lynch's men until they overturned and were destroyed. Once all the cars broken, Lynch's men approached it, hoping to find Hannibal and Morrison inside, but actually it was a trap. From the other side, Bosco was ready with his grenade, and aimed it at them. All Lynch's men died, except Pike. He was somewhere and ready with his rocket. He launched his rocket at the piles of containers on the boat when he saw Bosco who was running to hide. As a result of the rocket fire, dozens of containers on the ship fell apart. He then managed to spot Face and cornered him among the containers. When he was about to shoot Face, Bosco came flying at him and managed to throw him onto the ground. At the other place, Lynch managed to find Hannibal inside the container. Both of them were involved in an intense battle. Lynch made it to defeat Hannibal, then shoot the head of fake Morrison aka Murdoch. Seeing what he did to Murdoch, Hannibal became so angry, he then got up and fought him back with all his strength. And suddenly, a door of the container opened and revealed, it was Captain Sosa and her team. Sosa and other special forces surrounded Lynch from all directions, so that he could not move and surrendered. Bosco then ran to Murdoch and lifted the mask, thank God, he was fine from the shot Lynch fired at him earlier.